What's up guys, this is Rodka Racing, and today we're going to be starting our playthrough of NASCAR Heat Mobile. Just as a note, this is a voiceover because I tried to record it the first time and it was really bad. Anyway, it says your goal is become the first NASCAR Monster Hunter Cup Series champion. It says, let's learn how to race. Tap the race building. The event map shows your progress through the season. The first race will be in Daytona. Here we go. Yeah, this is kind of fast. Tap the race button. Here we go. We're in. Racing as Kyle Busch. Oh, shoot, I accidentally had clicked tapped on that. I remember that when I was trying to record this the first time. Um, I accidentally clicked tap, so I'm, I went in and changed it to tilt. So, yeah, this was, is going to be a fun playthrough. I ran the first th three races of the re regular season as we're just going to drop in line behind Harrison Burn and get held up. And just everybody, it's just calamity corner. Nobody wants to give an inch. So, we have to go to the inside, and we just drove through the field. I mean, nobody was going to catch us. I mean, look at this, we're Kyle Butch, we're supposed to go through to the front of the field. He just came flying through there. Here we come, we're gonna look inside, Cliff Boyer, past Eric Jones, past. 204 miles an hour, that's faster than regular, than regular cars do nowadays in the Cup Series. This is the 2018, it would change to 2019 when I got on um, and I started doing the regular races. So you see here, we got held up by Austin Dillon, he was being a little pain in the butt. So it was Daniel Suarez, but this time he's had to go to the outside. And here it is, it says, great lap, now let's talk about challenges. Each race has five displayed at the top of the screen. They were seven high passes, two low passes, 175 lap average, finish in 35th or better, and run in 38th or better. So these are probably going to be pretty easy. It says complete more challenges and whatnot. So we already had one of them done, See, and we got the two high passes out of the way really quickly. As you could, you would see here, we jumped inside Kurt Busch, and I believe that is Chase Elliott and his Sun Energy car to take away eighth. As here he come down the back, Jimmy Johnson down low, Spence came a lot, racing this, gave me a lot of nostalgia to watch, as we just came flying through there. We were up to fourth. I didn't think we were going to be able to catch Kevin Harvick, but that is me. I wasn't going to give him my best shot. As he went off into three, I was just trying to draft up on him. It just wasn't going to work. We went. See, I changed my camera view because I thought that camera view was pretty cool indeed to use at these types of tracks. So you see, I'm trying to catch Kevin Harvick. I'm trying so hard. As here he comes to line, I got a draft, but it was just too late. Um, we finished fourth, and the winner would end up being Joey Logano. As it says, continue on the bottom. It says, complete all challenges, turn three stars. Stars will unlock new events or races. You can up for three stars per event, and if you need more, you're able to go back and replay ones you might back on all three. It says, now sorry about the fan zone. Welcome to your fan zone. Here you can manage cars and upgrades, connect with players, and more. It's time to choose your own car. Tap the garage. So as I went in here, I, I like Toyota, but all the cars actually looked really nice, so I picked Toyota. I, ch I put my name in, and a couple times it just messed up for no reason. It just, you saw one time, I clicked RAC, and then it still just wouldn't keep it. So eventually, I was able to do it here. I'm a pretty original name, YouTube channel, as the name, as, yeah, we definitely were going to keep that. It says, now let's head back to the fan zone. These races are only going to get tougher. Let's upgrade the car. It's the R&D Center. And it only let me use the engine for free. I was like, I want to just use all of them for free. Um, yeah, now nah, we already have a level one engine. <laughs> and now let's, it's, it had us go into the race center as much as I didn't want it to do that. And we were going to race the Daytona 500. As you saw the challenges, run 36 or better, perform three passes, two low, two, three high, uh, two high, three low, and reach 184 miles per hour. As here are, you see the 2019 cars because you saw Brax lost getting his Mustang. We got put back in 35th when usually you'd probably get put in like 39th. So we got bailed out. Anyways, yeah, that already, I said bailed out because we already finished one of the challenges. So as we started, it was a nightmare because the car was going a lot slower than Kyle Busch would because, come on, really, you think I'm just supposed to win races in this type of equipment? But everyone just log jammed. I jumped to the inside. I already had done 
three out of my five passes. I was trying to get to the outside here, but Haley Deegan and others were not making it easy on me. Eventually, I got to the outside by putting Haley Deegan in the wall. I threaded the needle right up the gut to get my next one by passing Chris Busher. So now all I had to do was get the lap average, which was pretty easy. So you see, we call Ryan Priest. We went inside of him and passed him pretty nicely. And now we passed Corey LaJoy. That was going to be tight for 28th place and drafted up on Michael McDowell and Reed Sorensen. So yeah, this is kind of crazy just watching this over again as we pass Sorensen. And then we would try to pass McDowell, which we would be able to, I believe, as we got down to one. Maybe, yes, no, um, that answer is no. But I'm pretty sure we passed him eventually. Yeah, we did. As we come off a of two here, we're right behind McDowell and down the back stretch. In the future, also, I will try to do voiceovers. It's just I had the vol volume up too loud on my on the app, so it was it completely outdid my commentary of it. So that's why I had to do a voiceover. Future, I will be doing it live, I guess. Oh, uh, we just we just knocked McDowell out of the way. I th I don't remember. We went back to his ankle at the same point we did the first race, just trying to get by Eric Jones. It was gonna get tight here. Pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. We got a draft on him at the last second. We went to these inside. It just wasn't enough. And we would finish 26th, though, as Braxowski won the 500. It says, great racing. Now let's head to the fan zone. It says, let's learn how to earn cash. This is the merchandise building that helps you earn cash. You can tap it. I tapped it, and I got 2,000 cash. Not too bad. It says, now tap the build button, and we automatically get to upgrade the R&D center. Um, yeah. And then we added this thing. I don't know what the heck that was. I forgot. New builds you provide useful bonuses. A diagnostic station helps with stuff. Keep adding, upgrading your buildings on the fan zone to earn more rewards. Upgrade the R&D center to earn new buildings. And it says finally keep upgrading your fan zone and racing and events to become the Cup Series champion. Good luck. And I can't tell you how many times ads popped up. So the first thing I did was I didn't realize it, but eventually I would go through and I purchased. As you see here, I purchased level one upgrades and then oh no i don't want notifications i had to go into here and you see like all the ads i have to go through anyways um installation and i installed all of these so i would come back with a suggestion as you'll see here in a second so i went in and i was bored so i decided to look at the drivers and looking through i saw some good drivers that were pretty cheap Chris Bush, there's a lot of ones that were car coins that's probably going to get a hard. Um, there was a couple good guys like Chris Bush or Lenny Castle. I was saying Haley Deegan. Matty D, that was a big one to see. Ty Dillon, Brendan Gaughan, um, Daniel Hemrick, Parker Kligerman, Matt Paul Menard, that was a big one to see because he races partially with um, Penske as a part of the Wood Brothers. So I'd scroll back over to here and I would just kind of look through the options and I would make up my mind it was either going to be uh, Matt De Benedetto, as you see here in a second I would click on him and I'd look through his paint schemes because he had some pretty nice ones um it was going to be him or it was going to be the 21 of Paul Menard as I would come over to look at in just a second yeah you see me flicking over I clicked Paul Menard and I didn't really want him because his paint schemes were kind of lame but anyways um in the comment section tell me if you want me to get Matt De Benedetto or Chris, I mean, um, I thought it was 2020. Um, Paul Menard and Maddie D decide in the comments which one you want me to do, and I will take that and I will do that next video. I will pick which car I want to go for, and when I get enough cash for it, I will do it. As you see here, the upgrades had finished. I went in and I was gonna race at Las Vegas, which would end up being my second to last race on this episode. Here we are, Las Vegas. Kozlowski got the pole. I see Denny back there in fourth. And then we would start on 37th. We had the goals were four high passes, running better than 36, which was probably pretty easy. Finish in 34th or better, five passes and a four low passes. As we would take the green flag here. We would immediately come down to one and two and we'd have um, Parker Clickerman. And then everyone just checked up and we got all squirrely. We fell way back, 40th, dead last. That's how you start off your first start in the first corner by getting put in dead last on a track that is not Daytona or Talladega. But as you you saw, we started to work our way up to the field. We went up high to try to complete that high pass challenge very quickly. And we completed the five passes challenge as well. You see, we barely keep it out of the wall. We would just hit it off the corner. 
Oh, uh, we'd hit Michael McDowell up the track, and we would pass him, and then we'd pass Ryan Fries, and by then we'd probably had all the challenges done. I don't understand why I would have finished 31st or worse. As you see here, I'm getting bobbled down on the inside. As there's Paul Menard, and we're outrun, about to outrun him by driving down the inside. So three wide for the 30th or 29th spot. Yeah, it's 29th. Um, as we go down to the corner, I'd hit um, Reid Sorensen up out of the way. Then looking inside Corey LaJoy, and then pass Matt DiMandetto, who we were also looking at again. So, also in the comments, tell me if you want me just to keep my car and just kind of work through the season as the same driver. Um, as we take the white flag, we were up to 23rd. I was on a roll. You would, as you'd see here, we drive that thing down the inside. We get by Clint Boyer, Byron. We get outside and passed Almirola to get a top 20 spot. As now, the next cars in front of us were Alex Bowman. No, that's Bubba. Yeah, that's Bubba. And, um... Ricky Stenhouse, and I'm pretty sure we got Suarez, yes, I don't remember if we got Ross Chastain, here we come, ooh, that was tight, did we get him, did we get him, yes, we would, we would finish a 16th, good for us, Hamlin would finish third, Truex second, and Kozlowski would win his second race of the season, so now let's go back to your fan zone, it didn't give me any tutorials, it just wants me to buy stuff in a game that's a year old, so, so be it. So then I would go over here and I would just kind of look at the upgrades because I probably could buy them as you'd see. Also, I decided to place down some billboards because why not? Because I'd get some extra money out of those. You see here, I added all three ones because they, they're they pretty much free cash for you. As yeah, it, it only said collect 50 cash, so I figured why not? I mean, not to, excuse me. So now we would run Auto Club and the challenges were kind of simple. It was perform three low passes, avoid a wreck, 173 mile an hour lap average, four passes, and to finish in 36 or better. So our work was definitely going to be pretty easy for us. It was just up to us to execute and make the most of it. As already at the gates, we were put in dead last um, right off the start as we couldn't keep up. But now, as you see, we drove that car on the inside. We weren't having any of it of falling back. We would already get up to 35th though out of the corner and pretty much have the challenge on lock for finishing 36 or better. There was the avoid one wreck and then a fast speed, which was probably gonna be pretty easy for us. As you see, we'd take it down to the inside and just drive that thing inside. Passing Matt DiMandetto, you'd see Paul Menard a couple spots ahead, which is shocking considering we wanna buy those cars and race those cars, but we have worse equipment and we're driving right through them. So I don't know if it's a glitch or something, but like we are just punching it. It's lap two out of four, as you would see here. Come down into turn number one and two, and Bubba Wallace goes around. I didn't understand anything logically. I know this is a video game, but still, why would somebody blow a tire on lap two? They just decide to go into the wall, the lap corner before that, and then just act like it was normal and then just spin out? No, I don't think so. As you see, we'd restart, we'd get um, put behind Ty Dillon, um, we'd get stuck three wide, and then we would drive that car back on the inside, and we'd continue our drive up the field, as we would now pass Air Camarola to get a top 20 spot, not too bad for us, we've all, we've been inside the top 20 in all three races so far, so it was, well, except for the Daytona 500, so that was definitely going to help us in the points, which I don't even think they have points in this game, but whatever, um, we would drive inside of Stenhouse, Putting this car up inside the top 10 possibly as we would get by Kurt Busch for 13th, inside Suarez for 12th. I believe that was Kyle Larson. We would take three wide here down the front stretch for 11th. Three wide as we took the white flag. That's what you're talking about, but just sadly it's out for the lead. As you see, the leader's way off in the distance. Um, as we would come through turn one and two, we would drive down inside Austin Dillon, take a 10th place spot from him. Inside Blaney, Hamlin, we'd get past Elliott. No, he was coming back on us. But eventually we would pass Elliot, but no, maybe not. Um, here we come. We take it three wide, I believe. Yes, three wide to get into six, and then we were gonna try to pass Logano, but we didn't have any room, so I just threw Kyle and Elliot the track. But that didn't help me at all. That just worsened it for me. So it was gonna get tight here. We took it three wide down to the line. Logano was not giving it up, and we would finish a seventh after that, even though we did everything we could. So that was nice. Warm tricks would go on to win the race. So yeah, as we would go back here. And yeah, that's really gonna end this video, guys. I will keep make sure you comment which car you want me to drive as Haley, I don't know why I clicked on. Anyways, um yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Um I'll eventually upgrade these if we decide to not get another car. So yeah, like, subscribe, 
Hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And this is Rock Horizon signing out. Peace. Just see a ghost, a bell, jingle, and ring.